All right, welcome back to another episode of our Discord bot dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue from the previous episode. So in the last episode, what we did was we made it so that when we clicked on this unban, uh, this unbanned uh, text, right? What it does is it fires off a function. And that function is supposed to call our API. And the API is supposed to call the Discord API to unban the user. Okay, now... The only thing that we did was we set up the function calls and then we had it call an endpoint, but we haven't implemented that endpoint yet. So we have to go into our Nest project and do that. So I'm going to go into the API, the Nest.js project, and we're going to go inside the Discord module, controllers, discord.controller.ts. So the endpoint that we're supposed to implement is going to be this. So let me zoom in a little bit so you all can see this. So we're going to use a delete method, okay? Because from the front end, we're calling, well, with Axios, we're calling the, we're, it's, it's, an, it's a delete method, okay? And it's similar to what uh, Discord does anyway. So if you look at the Discord docs, you can see that removing a guild ban, the method type is delete. So we'll follow their practice, okay? So the route is going to be guilds, guild ID, Bands, and then we need the user ID like this. So you'll see that. Let me just quickly open up the, uh, let me just make sure that everything's good. So if we go back to the api.ts file, you'll see that this was the function that we implemented. And you can see that we're calling the API URL slash discord. Okay. That is the prefixed route for this discord controller, which is why we're inside the discord module slash guilds. So we have that right over here. And then we have, oh, not here, sorry, here. Okay, and then we have the guild ID slash bands slash user ID. So guild ID and then bands and then user ID. Okay, so that's pretty much the route. So now we'll go ahead and implement the method. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do delete guild band, that's what we'll call it. And we're gonna go ahead and get two route parameters. So we're gonna get the guild ID and the user ID. And we'll type, we'll type annotate this to be a string because it is going to be a string. And then likewise, we'll do the same for the user ID as well. Awesome. And then again, similar to what we have done in previous episodes, we're going to go ahead into the I Discord service. We're going to go ahead and create the abstract method that are that we're going to implement in the actual service class. And then the controller is going to call the implemented method from the Discord service. So this method we'll call this delete guild bin. It'll take in two parameters, guild ID and user ID. For the type, I'm not sure what it's going to return. Let me actually double check. It returns a 204 empty response on success. Okay. So we actually don't even need to worry about a type annotation. We could just return. Honestly, we don't even need to return anything or not. I mean, not, I'm sorry, not return nothing. What I'm saying is that we can just return the status tool for if it's successful. Okay. So uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just make it so that it will return an Axios response and that's it. Yeah, that's all we'll do. Okay. Let's go into the implementation now. So that's going to be inside discord.service. Delete guild ban. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this any comma any. Okay. Now, what we need to do here is, again, the same thing. We got to go into the HTTP service, the Discord HTTP service. We got to go into the interface, create the abstract method. So we'll call it delete guild ban. We'll just call it the same thing, honestly. Taking the guild ID, taking the user ID. And we'll just have a return and access response. Okay. Go inside the implementation of I Discord HTTP service. Now let's go ahead and implement that method. So let's do that. Let me remove this generic type annotation over there. Okay. So let me get the bot token and then we'll go ahead and call the URL. So the URL is going to be literally the same thing, except it's just going to be a delete method and we'll just change up the path. So we'll go ahead and do return axios.delete. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll get the Discord base URL. 
slash let me just check what the value is this yep so it's going to be slash guilds uh the guild id slash bands and then slash and then the user id whoops there we go okay and then for the headers we pass in the same thing that we've been passing in before honestly i probably should put this somewhere like i, I should probably define this header somewhere so that we don't have to, so that we can kind of like tidy up the code a little bit i'll probably worry about that later okay so now that we have implemented delete guild bin we can go ahead and go back to our discord.service.ts file you can go ahead and return this dot discord http service delete guild bin pass in the guild id and user id then we can go inside our controller and call discord service dot delete guild bin okay so i won't forget this time to uh destructure the the data from axios that has returned uh so let's see it's going to be this uh, discord service delete guild bin guild id user id turn data okay now let's go ahead and test this all out so let's go ahead to the front end let me open up the console okay and just uh go here let me zoom out a little bit okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click uh let's see yahoo news unban okay so there were no error there there wasn't any error that was thrown okay and i don't see any errors in my logs if i look in the network tab uh let me see if i could zoom out just a little bit if I look in the network tab, it seems like we did get back a successful response. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we called the URL over here. Let me show you. So we called the URL, request method delete. The status code is a 200. Okay, that's what our API is returning, but the Discord API returns a 204. Okay, it seems like everything's good. Obviously, if there was an error, it would tell us. Like, it would actually give us back like a it'll give us back like a 500 i think let me so if i try to re if i try to re unban not re unban if i try to invoke this action you'll see that it actually gives us an internal server error and the reason why this is failing and, and it should fail is because we already unbanned the user already right and so on discord side the user um is already unbanned so of course it's going to throw an error okay so it makes sense so that's good okay that's that's uh that's all good now let me go ahead and refresh the page you'll see that yahoo news is going to be gone perfect and if i unban vein um it's not going to auto update on the front end obviously because we didn't we, we would need to update the state of this which we can definitely do that but it is in fact unbanning the user on the discord endpoint if i go into my server if i go into server settings if I go into uh, bands, you'll see that those bands are gone. If I unban these two users, you'll see that uh, it actually gets updated live because what happens is when you actually call this endpoint, uh, the Discord gateway fires a guild band remove event. So optionally, what you can do, and this is what I'll do in the next episode, is we'll listen to the guild band remove event. And uh, we'll do something whenever a user is banned on the Discord bot side of the stuff. Because right now, um, right now we're unbanning the user, okay? But in case you might need to do something whenever, uh, in case you might want to do something on the bot application when a user is unbanned, let's say if you want to log something to like a channel, you can do that as well. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace out.